Hi, today I'll show you how to make a sculpted text like this, something you can find in old horror movies, uh, especially like low budget or uh, shows like uh, Tales from the Crypt. The reason to, to do this is to show you the sculpting, which is uh, instead of just pushing single uh, polygons or vertices or edges or edge loops, you just uh, manipulate uh, it like clay, like I just show you, right? So, uh, okay, let's start. So I have a default blender scene. Let's remove the cube, shift A, add text, and now go to text settings here and change uh, alignment to center like that. So you can zoom in a bit. Let's hit tab to edit like that okay and now we can uh, extrude it geometry extrude something like this maybe a little less that would do now object convert to mesh and now it is mesh but the topology is quite bad so we want to have like an uh, even distribution of polys to do this just uh, maybe first let's rx 90 to rotate it ctrl a apply rotation go to modifiers tab add a modifier and remesh and change it to smooth and uncheck this remove disconnected increase it a bit something like that you can zoom in and go to this tab which is this object properties uh, viewport display wireframe and you can like preview the resolution we have that would do okay let's uncheck it that is good and uh, before sculpting we need to apply it so let's apply it this is our base and now we are in this layout tab and go to sculpting okay so as you can see the cursor is changed to this it's called a brush so it's looking different you can still rotate it and move it similarly like uh, in the layout uh, tab and what you can do is go to these settings and uh, if you have not this change to matcap and you can change this one so it will be like a, a simplified material for preview material because it's only for preview purposes uh, but that would do for us and uh, yeah we have something like this uh, just remember you can save the file you should save it uh, what we can do now is also check this uh, din topo is like dynamic topology so let's check it and uh, expand this check the smooth shading okay so now we have this uh, you know more smooth okay and that is what we want so by default you have set this draw brush but we will be not using it but if i just you know draw like that i i am changing some uh basically the topology of the model like the position of the vertices so it affect the look okay let's control z uh, because we don't want it and what we can do instead is zoom in uh, to specific uh, let's say this b letter for example uh, lower the strength a lot like that maybe and with pressing shift let's just smooth those edges something like that you do not need to be really precise here uh, depending on what effect you want to achieve but I will not be really precise because it will be like the, the effect that is uh, will be it's like a bloody text so we want to have it like fluid feel to it and I will just roughly uh, smooth the edges okay something like that and you can go to back a bit also smooth it up like that okay something like that so now 
uh, it is more smooth and because we are using this dynamic topology which is like in topo it is like dynamically changing the topology so based on this setting we can um, make the mesh more dense uh, if we change to the snake hook which is to like make this uh, dropping of blood effect for example in our case i can try to like you know like extrude the the mesh but you see it's really blocky and this is because we have this default setting so i'll change it uh, okay i can smooth shift and by the way smoothing work with any brush selected if you press she shift and drag you can uh, smooth okay so i will go here and adjust it to something like this let's try okay let's now move it uh, i will change it let's adjust the radius okay maybe too much so you have to play uh, play with those settings and by the way using mouse for sculpting uh, is really not a good idea actually i'm only doing this because uh, many of you may not have a drawing tablet so just to demonstrate that it's kind of possible but the downside is that we don't have uh, like a precision uh, control over the pressure as well it's not as precise as using the pen of the drawing tablet but just to demonstrate you that feature of sculpting uh, if you don't have drawing tablet you can now think whether you will need it and want to maybe buy it someday and uh, yeah you can just play with mouse for now okay so i can just you know like make this dripping blood effects stuff like that i will not be uh, really precise here and not try to uh, like redo the de demo scene too much because it will take uh, too much time and you just see the process and that is important so basically you can do similar thing with uh, all the letters so we can play with this radius strength and so on and just do it like that so i will speed up the process and uh, we will be back soon so i have something like this and you can of course try to use other brushes uh, just to check them out so there are like different effects and you can see okay like that uh, but maybe grab uh, is one to show because it will allow you to adjust some things kind of similar like this snake hook but without making this extrusion effect maybe so uh, yeah you can check it it could be uh, way better but it, it will take uh, more time so i encourage you to uh, play on your own uh, and uh, make it better starting from maybe even choosing better font because i just use the default font that blender provides and then uh, you can play with this base resolution with those settings here with the strength and maybe you have a drawing tablet so you can also uh, make it better maybe i'll show you at the end the, uh, sorry too much uh, the clay because here for example this is really flat so we can just like make it rounder but something like that and just mix it with add so you just have to just have to play with it go to layout and we don't have this map cap we could uh, set it but uh, we want to have this uh, gloomy glowy green effect right let's add material first so material make it red and change this tab so it is visible 
okay something like that we can make it darker we can make some subsurface but change it to also reddish so it will uh, look better something like that i will not bother to make it you know realistic or something yeah you get the idea and we can preview how it looks okay uh, we can change the background to darker one in the world so let's change to this and yeah we have like that let's move our light something like that let's zoom in now we can really cheaply uh, achieve this uh, gloomy glowy maybe first let's duplicate the light so it will be more interesting okay and now just select this and shift d y and just push it back a little bit like that maybe let's rename it scope text and this is glowing text glowing text it is not yet glowing but it will be so let's go to material and check this just to uh, use it as a separate material and change it to emission and let's change the color to something like that could be and now go here and check this bloom and uh, sorry go back to material and just bump it up like that let's a twice and hide the all the overlays for now and we have something like that we can now maybe move it back a bit and we basically have uh, something similar that i showed you in the demo that you can of course uh, render it if you if you want and uh, make it a lot better if you just spend more time and uh, play with it remember if you want to sculpt something you just select it and go to sculpting you can sculpt things using different brushes okay that would be all for today i hope you like it and found it useful so if so uh, just give me a like and uh, please comment down below that would be nice to see some message from you guys and uh, give me a sub if you are not already subscribed so uh, youtube will show you more of my videos especially for future ones check other videos that are already uh, uploaded because there's quite plenty of them already so see you next time bye